Alright, to make up for not posting a video last week because I was busy, I am going to do an embarrassing thing, which is to do a cartwheel in my wedding dress. I was just about to move it, but I decided instead I'd put it on and do a cartwheel for y'all. So, here goes. When I was four, um, I had already had a little brother for two years, and I guess I didn't find it very interesting because I invented uh, an imaginary friend to play with. His name was Gonats, and that's G-O-N-A-T-S. No, I did not name my imaginary friend Gonads. I moved from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan when I was four to Abilene, Texas, and my very first memories start in the Upper Peninsula, but they're very few and far between. Um, but I do have a lot of memories of Abilene, especially the rental house that we lived in, because it was all done in this terrible, very trendy in 1965 sort of decor and just velvet wallpaper and crazy prints and an avocado colored refrigerator. Of course, these are all things that I rather like now and would put in my design aesthetics. Eight. When I was eight, I won the Rapid City, South Dakota Regional Spelling Bee. I won first place. I won because I could spell the word guitar, which would be the word that the guy before me missed, and then my word that won me it was elevator. So at the age of eight, I could correctly spell elevator. When I was 15, Kathleen and I were BFFs already, and we started hanging out with this bad group of boys who were, um, you know, I guess bad influences on us because they did things like smoke and drink and um, one night we snuck out, we all lied to our parents and somehow got ourselves to hang out at a party with them and so that was probably um, very stupid because our parents called each other, there were four of us and somebody needed to talk to somebody and they all discovered that we were all supposed to be sleeping in each other's houses that night. When I was 16, um, I had my first like real relationship. I guess technically it started when I was 15, but I turned 16 shortly thereafter. And um, his best friend was Kathleen's boyfriend. And so the four of us did everything together. And I don't know, it was pretty fun a lot of the times. Um, I got into a terrible car accident and I actually totaled my car 10 days after getting my license and Marty was in the car with me for that and Kathleen and Drew were there when you know I was crying and shaking later and you know the four of us were just I don't know we had so much fun together 23 my 23rd birthday is actually a really important birthday because it's the first time that Tim hung out with any of us. And Tim right now is what I consider, you know, one of my absolute closest friends. And I spend a whole lot of time with him and we bicker like brother and sister. And I just think it's so awesome that he came to, you know, hang out, meet all my friends on my birthday and that Almost six years later, we're still great, great friends. Forty-two. Forty-two. I really have no idea. I mean, I guess hopefully I've finished my interior design degree by then, or at least decided not to get it, because, you know, that's good. Thirteen and a half years away from me. And 
I don't know. I guess if I decide that I do want to have children, I would like to have them by the time I'm 42, for sure. Um, other than that, I'm hoping that I still keep in touch with all of my amazing friends and that, you know, I'm still getting to travel and have fun and not necessarily, you know, go through a day-to-day -day life where I have a miserable existence. I just want to be content. Um, I definitely hope that my health continues to be more or less okay um, because I am a tiny bit afraid that it might have deteriorated by then. My secret is that I judge people who drive large SUVs like um, Yukons and I don't know, Escalades and things like that. Anything that gets below, I think, I don't know, 12 miles per hour, I mean per gallon, should be outlawed and I think it's incredibly socially irresponsible to do that. 